just saying that I know that it's, it's not, gee, it's working well now and therefore it will work. They're day and night different programs. How many people are you talking about on a, on a, a weekly, month, on a weekly you, monthly basis? Yeah. I can tell you that we serve 1,700 unduplicated patients a year in the clinic. We serve 400 families in the pantry every month. We give out 10,000 pounds of food every month, every week to our clients. We, on an average day, we probably have, um, I would say, 70 people at the agency during the course of an eight-hour day, taking showers, getting a medical appointment, going into therapy, meeting with a case manager, or coming into the food pantry and using our food pantry services. I'm just saying that I know that it's, it's not, gee, it's working well now, and therefore it will work. They're day and night different programs. That this is about more than just moving the Ritter Center. That this is an opportunity to do something as a community for this population. That we could um, look at places where we could put both some of Ritter services, all of Ritter services, combined with the other supportive services that the poor and the homeless need, like a low barrier shelter. But I, I'm overall concerned when uh, people substitute the existing program that you're familiar with, Dick, uh, to what is being proposed. They're almost day and night. Why do I say that? One, first, the existing program relies upon volunteers. Mm -hmm. Well, you're now talking 24-7, so you're talking about a significant employment issue. Who's going to pay for those employees. Furthermore, it's not just during the inclement months as it is now, which is, is helpful, but rather it's year-round. And it's year-round, uh, 365 days, but also 24 hours. I'm just saying that I know that it's, it's not, gee, it's working well now, and therefore it will work. They're day and night different programs.